Wednesday. Um, I'm home, working remote, and I'm making a salad. Look at that. It's supposed to be a Caesar salad, but this chick. I mean, it's a chicken Caesar salad, basically, like a buffalo chicken, like a buffalo chicken Caesar salad. I just like a lot of things in my salad, you know. So, so I have some black pepper, a splash of lemon juice. There we go. And then we add my Caesar. Any Caesar works for me, to be honest. I'm not picky. Come on. Yeah, that looks good. Look at that. Mm, this is my breakfast. <laughs> I'm about to eat this and then um, later, I have to, what's the word? So in the basement, y'all know the basement isn't finished so I could do what I want in there before my dad decides he wants to get it finished. So I'm going to, I bought like a photo, photography, videography, whatever, backdrop. And it's like, I should probably put it in the wash. Yeah. And do like the wrinkle cycle so I don't have to like steam it cause girl that's effort. Um, <laughs> I'm probably gonna do that now. And then um, we're gonna hang it up in the basement so that I can take pictures and stuff. But like a white background, I don't really need any other color. Like if I wanna take like outside pictures, I'll just go outside. Like I'm not about to get like a brick wall backdrop, even though I was seriously considering it. I was like, you know what, damn, we're not doing that. We just, so I got, I think I, I got like a 10 foot by 15, just to make sure so that I could do like try on hauls there. What else? or just taking picture, outfit pictures and stuff in case I don't leave the house. Like if I just wanna get dressed up or whatever. So yeah. And then um, what else are we doing today? I think that's it. I need to wash my wig cause I don't want it to be straight anymore. It's right here. Let me show y'all. Give y'all a close up cause I didn't really give y'all a close up before. Move my wig. My salad. You see all those? Highlights, oh my gosh, she's so pretty, oh, love her. Um, she's a six by six. Love it a lot. I think I told you I was like, I, I dyed it and curled it like in January and I haven't worn it till then. And I realized like I could do pin curls, I just can't do pin curls with, um, uh, what's it called? An inch and a half barrel. I don't like how that looks. It has to be a two inch barrel, but that gives like blow up vibes, which I want. So now that I know, we're not doing that. I like either like wand curls, which I haven't done in a very long time actually. Um, bone straight or, um, well not bone straight, but like voluminous bone straight or a blow up. And by blow up, I don't use a blow dryer cause I don't know. I don't, the mechanics of my brain and my hand, they don't, me when it's time to do that so i just use a two inch um curling iron and then pin it and then brush it out and it looks sickening so we're gonna wash this because i really want it to be wavy for the next week and then yeah that's pretty much it come through, come through, come through, come through, come through, come through, come through.
to give it certified to give it the toughest longest time for a ride, girl. Baby boy, you stay on my mind. Come on, girl. Office this entire week because next week I'm getting a chemical peel and I don't know how my skin is gonna react. Well, I know how it's gonna react. I just don't want to be in the office during that time. So <laughs> I'm gonna get a chemical peel this week and we're just gonna peel all next week. So I'm gonna be working remotely. Um, I don't have anything planned this week. Not that I usually have anything planned, but y'all saw yesterday made a whole breakfast feast because I made um, lemon blueberry loaf. And then I made it into like French toast and I made like regular French toast for my dad and stuff. And then I had the French toast again <laughs> this morning before work. And then, um, so yeah, I think this, uh, to be honest, this vlog, if nothing else, it's going to be a food vlog. Like what I ate this week. Yeah. What I ate this week because I'm working all day. So I ain't got time. <laughs> Uh, we're making cream of mushroom chicken and rice. I'm excited because I'm starving and I've been craving that. Like my mom used to make it all the time, but she would add like scotch and bonnet peppers. So it would be spicy. Chef's kiss. Okay. So we're going to do that today. I don't know if I want to do like the whole, oh, cook the, the whole process of cooking it because girl, I'm tired. But let me show y'all what I'm using to make it. <laughs> we got... Is it gonna focus? Come on, focus. Girl! There we go. I got mushroom powder here. Um, it's just dried mushrooms with a bunch of seasonings. So we're gonna use this alongside two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And then I got a bunch of mushrooms in the fridge. So we're gonna be using white. We're gonna be using white and, don't ask me why I wanna switch. <laughs> we're gonna be using white and cremini mushrooms. So I'm just gonna slice everything up. The chicken's already defrosted. Um, I need to clean it and then season it. So what I'm gonna season it with, cause I'm tired. I'll show you all the final product when I'm done. Cause like girl, filming slows me down. <laughs> I'm gonna use the main seasoning is gonna be um, mushroom powder I will put uh, the list of ingredients to make this on the screen if y'all want it and then we're gonna add black pepper salt meat seasoning seasoning salt um, the what's it called the smoked paprika and onion seasoning I transferred it into a jar so it has its own jar now because I thought I'm gonna buy it more because it actually tastes good um, mesquite steak seasoning i think it's gonna stay in the container because i'm not gonna use this a lot honestly i don't use people actually use this on their steaks it's crazy um <laughs> oh montreal steak not whatever i said earlier 
um yeah and then we're gonna add um some accent to enhance the flavor and some chicken um soup base because we're adding chicken to it you know so i need to get the rice cooker out um to start cooking the rice so it'll be ready by the time i'm done even though it's gonna take longer to cook sorry it's cool to come and yeah so i'll show y'all everything when i'm done or whatever hello i can't be bothered with fancy presentations so i'm putting it in this bowl because <laughs> i'm hungry um i haven't eaten since i had breakfast and that was like early this morning so yeah um i mentioned i think in the last vlog or was it this vlog I don't know, but single miles coming up, so I'm gonna have to pull out the slow cooker and um, make my carnitas in the slow cooker, and then it should be ready by the time I get home, and then um, crisp it up in the oven under the broiler. That way, I don't have to worry about it. And to be honest with you, I got a Blink camera. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> the only issue about um, slow cookers, I don't think anyone's gonna be home. That's gonna give me anxiety. Cause I watched This Is Us. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was so reluctant to get a slow cooker. I don't know why I got it this time. What did I get it for? Oh, I wanted to make short ribs, that's why. I could've just made it in the oven, but whatever. <laughs> uh but now that it's here i've been like so reluctant to use it the last time i used it was i think two weeks ago but to make like beans like black eyed peas i really wanted it i was craving it and i had to go to work so i put it in the slow cooker <laughs> so yeah um this is it thursday yeah thursday so i have to take out the meat tomorrow or tonight how's it gonna work okay yeah, take it out tomorrow before work. And then by the time I get home, it should be defrosted. I don't know. And then we're gonna brine it and then slow cook it. It's gonna be a whole thing, I'm excited. So I will show y'all the process of that. So it's kind of like how I made it. I showed you how I made it last time, but oven version, this time it's gonna be a slow cook version. So yeah, let me put my chicken on here. <laughs> Scoop up the sauce. I already added the cornstarch. I love mushrooms, like, ugh, so good. Do I want a thigh or do I want a drumstick? I think I want a thigh. Yeah. Okay. It's on low now. It's very annoying. This. <laughs> this is how, where's my fork? Right? No, I didn't. This is how it looks. Hopefully y'all can see it. Ooh, that's how it's, that's what it looks. I'll put like the, the Instagram story of what I did last time, I'll put it on the screen because that had pretty plenty. But right now, I'm hungry. So yeah, I will see y'all on Wednesday when it's time to brine the pork i don't think of that nature i really wanted to make barbacoa but meat is expensive hello everybody Ooh. hello everybody how are y'all doing it's cinco de mayo happy cinco de mayo or whatever i didn't show y'all how i did the brine i said i wasn't gonna show y'all putting me <laughs> showing me making putting it in the slow cooker this morning um i did a half day at work well Kind of sort of half kind of sort of full i left at two i just came home like 20 minutes ago it's 3 30. um what else am i doing i don't have anything else to do for work like everything that can be done can be done tomorrow um this you want to do a, we're gonna do an otd my hair i don't know how to describe it i wanted to go for like messy but like still put together in a sense so i washed my wig because y'all saw it was flat iron before and it got ruined by the rain and then um i took like a micro curling rod curling iron there we go a micro curling iron 
and then I just did like sporadic. I didn't do all over. So it looks messy, but it's still put together. That way, if it rains, <laughs> I'm still okay. Like I don't have to redo my hair over and over again. Um, Y'all see it? Look how seamless it looks. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp, okay? Um, we're, this is like the gray version of the, uh, the outfit that I did. When was that? I don't even know how long ago that was. But I, it's in a reel on my Instagram and on TikTok and on Facebook as well. Because Facebook got reels and I'm going to take advantage of that, okay? And it's on Pinterest as well. So y'all follow me on Pinterest, okay? I'll put all the information on the screen and all things of that nature. But I'm wearing um, a jumpsuit. Oh, dear God. <laughs> no. Don't get caught, girl. There we go. I'm wearing a jumpsuit from Fashion Nova. I'll put the name of it on the screen. Or I'll link it down below in the description box as well. And I also have a code. So if y'all want a code or whatever, I got y'all. Okay? Um... It'll be all listed down below in the description box and on the comments and the pinned comments as well. Um, so it's like a full body suit. It's long sleeve. Y'all see it here? Ooh. So it's like kind of like, what's it called? The gray version of the outfit that I wore in my Reels, TikTok, and Pinterest, but like warmer. You get me? So um, I have this hound's tooth. It's like camel and olive toned. It was my mom's. It's mine now, okay? And then um, I'm wearing my cognac Uggs. And then I have my glasses, my Apple Watch, because I just like to wear my Apple Watch so I know how many steps I'm doing. Um, <laughs> this bracelet is from, let's see if it'll focus on it, no. There we go, this bracelet is from Forever 21. I got it when they were doing, I think it was like buy one, get one free. Because Forever 21 in the States, that's my girl. We ain't got that over here, I don't think, in Canada anymore because I heard that they were closing down I don't know I live in the boonies so <laughs> there's no good mall around me on the Canadian side so um this bracelet is from forever 21 my earrings are matching um piece with it forever 21 and then my necklace the B I think is from forever 21 or Arden and then the necklace is either forever 21 or Arden as well so it's like a corded rope chain and then we got like the flat little bit right here too so yeah i'm about to go to the movies the food is still cooking because it's on 10 hours low so i have to baste it again before i leave and we're gonna go to the movies because dr strange is out and what do i look like missing it on the opening day what i did was because when i since this is like a pandemic and stuff i don't like people sitting beside me so what i did <laughs> i have um what is it the cineplex membership so we're gonna go out to hamilton Cause there wasn't any, first of all, how do I explain it? The closest movie theater to me doesn't have good movies. It's not, they don't have like popular movies, which is weird. They have like indie film, films. I ain't got time for that. And <laughs> I wanted to see it, see it in Screen X or was it Ultra AVX? I don't know what I got. All I know is I use my Cineplex membership. So we're gonna go to Hamilton. Um, that's gonna be a long drive. Mm. <laughs> we're gonna go to hamilton and um i want all the fixings the popcorn the soda the possibly a hot dog because i didn't eat today um yeah i don't want fries do i or do i want do they have chicken fingers at the movie theater i don't want pizza because i don't do cheese we'll see we'll see but yeah that's the outfit of the day we're gonna go see dr strange um i could have went to niagara falls I wanted reclining seats. <laughs> they don't have a movie theater with reclining seats. I like to lay back. And I'm going to the 4.30 show. And, oh, that's what I was trying to say. When I go to the movies, ever since the pandemic hit, I don't like people sitting beside me. You're too close. Why are we sharing our mess? I don't like that. So, <laughs> I like to buy the seats surrounding me. Like on either side, not in front. I don't care about that. So, I like to sit up in the corner. So I buy the I buy the seat either to the left or the right of me. So in this case, I bought it to the left of me because I don't why no. So I make sure that the ticket attendant scans both my tickets so that no, somebody everybody knows that seat is taken, even though nobody's going to be sitting there. My purse will be sitting there. Yeah, my purse will be sitting there. This is my purse. It's from Arden. Okay. 
okay so we're gonna head out um i just have to quickly baste the carnitas so because it's gonna continue cooking and then it'll turn off yeah and i will see y'all at the movies because i'm gonna vlog on my phone i think actually y'all could fit in here y'all will go in here okay let's go hello the movie was very very good it was wow a lot of jump scares girl um <laughs> um i don't know how to describe it it was i think it was definitely better than spider-man yeah oh we gotta slow down girl because i'm doing 140 um <laughs> uh oh okay oh i knew it i knew it I want to act up okay yeah it was really really good I uh, I was not expecting that but it's been a while since I've seen what was it Doctor Strange 2 I think it was I think it was and there were like some like character what was it called reveals well reintroductions that some people were like applauding for and I was like okay I don't get it but <laughs> I think I rated it was really, Spider-Man was really good on the emotional side. Even though the ending was very, very sad to me. I didn't like that. And justice for Wanda. That's all I gotta say. Cause girl, pseudo mother to another real mother, she real in my heart. <laughs> Wanda, <laughs> Wanda's motherhood is real in my heart. So pseudo mother to a mother, I get it. I get it. So I do the same. Now I wouldn't go the lengths that she went because my ass was shook in that seat. And I didn't realize that the tickets that I got are the ones that moved the chair in the action scenes. Bitch, I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. I don't think I'm gonna do that again. Not scared the crap in that. Cause I'm a scary person. I don't like um like there's weird scary, so like thrillers, I could sit through that, no problem. But like, spiritual scary? I don't know what I was, I watched the thriller. I mean, I watched the trailer. I don't know, girl, ooh, it was a lot. But I had a very, really good time. I had a really good time, my battery's about to die. Hello, everyone, I'm back home. Um, you wanna see all the, ooh, that's hot. Can I lift it? Actually I can. Can y'all see that? Ooh, probably not. We're gonna crisp it up. It's like so tender. Love it a lot. We're gonna crisp it up um, later, like last minute. But I'm gonna start making everything else and continue shredding this, to be honest. Um, and we're gonna heat up the oil. Well, not really. We're just gonna um, take some chipotle sauce because what I like to do is... Where did I put it? I have um, La Costina Chipotle pepper sauce. So what I like to do is, I like to um, like put it on like a, what is it? I like to mix with oil, there we go. And then like slather the tortillas and then fry them. So we're gonna do that. What else, we gotta make the pico. So I'm gonna do that first so that it has time to infuse in the fridge. Again, we're not doing a speed through cause girl, y'all seen me make tacos before. Like it's a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, it's not a lot of work. It's very, very simple. But um, I'll put like all the ingredients I use to make the brine, the rub, all of that on the screen so y'all can see it. And then also, what else? We have leftover rice right here. I made a second batch yesterday. So the kid said he wants a, a burrito bowl. So that's what he's gonna have. And then I need to make the fish for my dad because he's gonna have fish. He's not having pork. Um, yeah, I think that's it right the tortillas rice is right there um pico what else oh plantanos i want to do something with this i don't know if i want to do like a shell what no shell's gonna be too much work just fry a plantain 
and then do plantain tacos as an option as a vegetarian option yeah we're gonna do that too okay i'll see y'all later food is done oh okay let's see can y'all see that i got five tacos i got carnitas and plantain tacos okay so i'm gonna squirt some lemon juice eat with it and i'll see y'all later hello it's the next day i'm on my lunch break i need to go pick up um my packages i'm wearing a hoodie and leggings and uggs because girl it's cold and i'm tired lucky i put on a wig okay so <laughs> i'm on my lunch break um about to go pick up my packages because i have um a u.s mailbox out here so i was like okay might as well get her done so i don't have to do anything when i get home i mean like after i like clock um after i finish work today so maybe i should approach the line closer why is somebody on my ass bitch like y'all need Oh, I hate New York. I'm not used to the roads out here. I'm not used to anything out here because the signs weird. Like I don't know what miles per hour is. I'm not listening to that. I only listen to um, kilometers, so I have to keep like ways open, or else we're screwed. So <laughs> I have to make sure that like my Google Maps, my ways, all kilometers. Because if they say oh and 500 feet i don't know what that means sir i don't know what that means so i don't be listening to anything like that i have to keep it at mile uh kilometers per hour and then um the directions for like meters and kilometers i don't know what feet and uh miles are i don't know i will never change it either like also like um celsius and fahrenheit strictly celsius i don't know what i know that 113 degrees what was that noise Oh, they're doing construction. Um, 113 degrees is hell on earth. So, <laughs> that is like my basis. I don't know what 60 degrees is. That still sounds high as fuck. So, I like rug along because zero degrees means wear a jacket, bitch. But anyways, I ordered um, a chemical peel. I ordered a chemical peel. Let me turn you on so you can face me. It's like on term. I ordered a chemical peel from Makeup Artist Choice. We're gonna do a TCA peel this time, 15%. I'm gonna be filming the process for that. And we're also gonna do a chemical peel on the Brazilian area. Cause your girl's going on vacation. She has to be squeaky clean, squeaky clear. There we go. These lights are long. Oh shit, I gotta turn too, boo. Get out my way. I think I need, I definitely have to buy gas. So I think I should just do it while I'm out in this area. Even though gas is cheap regardless out here to me. Um, or I might go to Speedway. Because Speedway, they're having like a thing where I can get 20 cents per gallon bank on my car. So I might do that. I might have to do that. But anyways, I will show y'all my package when I pick it up. After I pick it up. Well, I guess I'll bring y'all in. I can nose and park if there's no other cars on either side. <laughs> Or if I'm driving straight into it. If I have to turn into it, it's not going to work out. I can reverse park and parallel park though. So I guess that's better because it's the most important one. Else. So anyways, let's go inside. Oh yeah. Hands are falling, girl. Hello. Hi, I'm here to pick up a package. Oh, uh, what's the name? Barbara Atchway. A-T-E-W-E. -E. On the website, it said I had two, but I already picked them up. So, is there any way to clear that out? On our website? Oh, the ones back from April? Yeah. Yeah, they just never cleared them out when you last came okay. in. Yeah. Okay. And then it's just going to be a $5 fee on that one. Okay. You can go ahead and insert your chip. Um, so it's you want the receipt for it? Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, it right. so Thank you. Why do I look so red? Or now I don't look red. I don't know what I look like. 
<laughs> Where's my phone? In my pocket. Okay. Yeah, so I got my package here. Do I want to open it now? I'm going to hide it under the seat. That's what I look like paying for. Something. Oh, my immigration um, interview that I had, what was it? Like two weeks ago, I think. It was for Nexus. Because what are, I don't have time to be like stuck in customs. So I have um, Nexus, Global Entry, and TSA PreCheck now. So, you girl, what is what is TSA? Who has that time for that? Not me. Why am I taking my shoes off? No. So, <laughs> I have uh, all that done now. Um, okay, let me see. Gas, let's see where gas is cheap. Cause I only have 49 kilometers left. Premium gas dual, baby. Sam's Club is 450. Who has the cheapest one? I don't know where that is. I need to go something that I reckon. Okay, we're going to Sam's Club. Let's go to Sam's Club. Um, do I want to do that now? I want to eat. I don't know how busy they're going to be. I'll go after work. Yeah, I'll go after work. I'm going to get my lunch and I'm going to go back to work. Okay.